Marxism. Marxism, created by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels in mid-19th century Germany, was formed as a response to the harsh conditions faced by workers during the Industrial Revolution. They saw capitalism as a system that exploited the working class, proletariat, for the benefit of the wealthy, bourgeoisie. Marxism's main goals are to end this exploitation by overthrowing capitalism and establishing a classless, stateless society where the means of production are owned collectively. Marxism envisions a world where everyone works according to their ability and wealth is distributed based on need rather than profit, eliminating social and economic inequality. Maoism Maoism was formed by Mao Zedong in mid-20th century China as a distinct interpretation of Marxism, adapted to the unique conditions of a largely agrarian society. Unlike traditional Marxism, which focused on the urban working class, Maoism emphasized the revolutionary potential of the peasantry. Mao believed that rural farmers, rather than industrial workers, could lead the fight against oppression. The main goals of Maoism included overthrowing the ruling classes through a prolonged people's war, establishing a communist state, and maintaining continuous revolution to prevent the rise of new elites. Maoism sought to empower the masses and create a classless, stateless society. Leninism Leninism was formed by Vladimir Lenin in Russia during the early 20th century as a revolutionary adaptation of Marxism. Faced with the challenges of organizing a revolution in a less industrialized Russia, Lenin believed that a dedicated, disciplined party of revolutionaries was essential to lead the working class to victory. Unlike Marx's idea of a spontaneous uprising, Leninism emphasized the need for a vanguard party to guide the revolution. The main goals of Leninism included overthrowing the capitalist state, establishing a dictatorship of the proletariat, and creating a socialist society as a transition to communism. Leninism laid the foundation for the Russian Revolution and the creation of the Soviet Union. Marxism-Leninism Marxism-Leninism was formed in the early 20th century, combining Karl Marx's ideas with Vladimir Lenin's revolutionary strategies. It was created to guide the Bolshevik movement in Russia and to adapt Marxism to the realities of a less industrialized country. Lenin believed that a strong, centralized party was needed to lead the working class and overthrow the capitalist system. The main goals of Marxism-Leninism include establishing a dictatorship of the proletariat, where the state controls the economy and works to eliminate class differences. It also aims to spread communism worldwide, with the ultimate goal of creating a classless, stateless society based on equality and shared ownership. Stalinism Stalinism was formed under Joseph Stalin's rule in the Soviet Union during the 1920s to 1950s. It emerged as a strict interpretation of Marxism-Leninism, focused on rapidly transforming the USSR into a powerful, industrialized state. Stalin believed in the need for a strong, centralized government to control the economy and suppress opposition. The main goals of Stalinism included rapid industrialization, the collectivization of agriculture, and establishing a totalitarian state to maintain absolute control. Stalinism also emphasized the importance of spreading communism globally. While it helped the USSR become a major world power, it also led to widespread repression, purges, and human suffering. Eurocommunism. Eurocommunism was formed in the 1970s by communist parties in Western Europe, seeking a more democratic and independent approach to socialism. Unlike traditional Soviet-style communism, Eurocommunists wanted to distance themselves from the authoritarian practices of the USSR. They believed in achieving socialism through democratic means, working within existing political systems rather than through violent revolution. The main goals of Eurocommunism included promoting social justice, expanding workers' rights, and achieving equality, but with respect for democratic processes and human rights. Eurocommunists aimed to create a socialism that was adaptable to Western values, combining Marxist principles with a commitment to pluralism and freedom. Remember to subscribe and continue watching to discover more about types of communism. Anarcho-communism Anarcho-communism was formed in the late 19th century as a blend of anarchism and communism, developed by thinkers like Peter Kropotkin. It arose as a response to the oppression and inequality seen in both capitalist and authoritarian socialist systems. Anarcho-communists believe that true freedom can only be achieved in a stateless, 
classless society where people live cooperatively without hierarchies or government control. The main goals of anarcho-communism include abolishing private property, creating communities where resources are shared equally, and organizing society through voluntary associations. It seeks a world where people work together based on mutual aid and direct democracy, ensuring equality and freedom for all. Trotskyism Trotskyism was formed by Leon Trotsky as an alternative to the policies of Joseph Stalin in the Soviet Union. Developed in the 1920s, Trotskyism emerged from Trotsky's belief that Stalin's approach betrayed the original goals of the Russian Revolution. Trotsky argued for permanent revolution, the idea that socialist revolutions should spread continuously across the world, rather than focusing on building socialism in one country. The main goals of Trotskyism include achieving global socialism, opposing authoritarianism within the communist movement, and promoting democracy and workers' control within a socialist state. Trotskyism remains influential among those who criticize both capitalism and Stalinist communism. Uchi Ayuchi was formed in the 1950s by North Korean leader Kim Il-sung as a guiding ideology for his country. It emerged from a desire to create a uniquely Korean form of socialism, emphasizing self-reliance and independence from foreign influence, especially in response to the dominance of the Soviet Union and China. Uche teaches that the Korean people should be the masters of their own destiny, relying on their own efforts in politics, economy, and defense. The main goals of Juchi include achieving complete political independence, economic self-sufficiency, and military self-defense. It has shaped North Korea's policies, promoting the idea of a strong, autonomous nation. Titoism Titoism was developed by Yugoslav leader Josip Broz Tito in the 1940s and 1950s. It arose from Tito's desire to create a version of socialism that was independent from Soviet control. Titoism was formed in response to Joseph Stalin's attempts to dominate the socialist countries in Eastern Europe. The main goals of Titoism include promoting workers' self-management in industry, maintaining a mixed economy with both public and private elements, and pursuing a non-aligned foreign policy. Titoism aimed to create a unique form of socialism that respected Yugoslavia's independence while fostering social and economic development without direct Soviet influence. Left Communism Left Communism emerged in the early 20th century as a critique of both mainstream Marxism and the Soviet model. It was formed by radicals who felt that traditional communist movements were too focused on gradual reform and political alliances. They believed these approaches betrayed the revolutionary spirit. The main goals of Left Communism include rejecting parliamentary politics and aiming for a more direct, radical approach to achieving socialism. It emphasizes the need for workers' councils and direct action over party politics. Left communists advocate for immediate, grassroots change to create a truly classless society rather than relying on state control or slow reforms. Eco-communism Eco-communism emerged in the late 20th century as a response to the environmental crises caused by industrial capitalism. It was formed by combining traditional communist ideas with a strong focus on ecological sustainability. Eco-communists argue that capitalist systems exploit natural resources and harm the environment, making it crucial to rethink how we produce and consume. The main goals of eco-communism include promoting sustainable practices, protecting natural resources, and ensuring that everyone has access to a healthy environment. It seeks to create a society where ecological balance and social equality go hand in hand, with communal ownership and cooperative living helping to safeguard the planet for future generations. Critical Theory and Western Marxism Critical theory and Western Marxism were formed in the early 20th century as a response to the limitations of traditional Marxism in addressing modern social issues. Developed by thinkers like Theodor Adorno and Max Horkheimer of the Frankfurt School, critical theory expanded Marxism to include critiques of culture, media, and ideology. It was formed to understand how capitalism not only controls economies but also influences people's thoughts and behavior through culture. The main goals of critical theory include exposing how power operates in society, challenging oppressive systems, and promoting human freedom. It emphasizes the need for critical thinking to transform society beyond just economic structures, addressing issues like alienation and ideology, 